Thank you. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Gaddy. I work for a company called Evolven. And uh, what I do for Evolven is I run Evolven's technical services for Europe. Um, just before I go into the demo, I'd like to say a few words about what we do, because for me it was a little bit difficult with previous demo to understand what I'm seeing without getting some context. So what does Evolven uh, do at all? Uh, Evolven lives in the change and configuration management area. And what we see is that the change and configuration uh, management area is an area that's been kind of um, left aside. So we still have a lot of old tools like CMDB that are focused on what IT used to look like 10 years ago. You can define that you want to monitor specific parameters, but today's IT environments, and who knows that better than you, uh, are so complex, they have so many configuration parameters in them, so much dynamics, everything is changing, that what we're facing is really kind of a big data problem and not something that you can manage by looking at very specific parameters. So we look at four different use cases that we're trying to help IT operations with. The first one is cutting down the uh, time for incident investigation. Usually when we have an incident and we can't solve it in a matter of minute, we need to figure out what happened to our environment. We know that everything was working well maybe an hour ago, maybe yesterday. Suddenly it's not working. So obviously something has changed and we need to understand what happened. Now, I also had a, sli a slide about silos, but because of um, all of the feedback on the Twitter feed, I decided not to show that. Because what's really happening is that because we have these uh, silos that everybody's talking th about them so much, nobody really knows what the other guy is doing. So you need kind of a holistic view that shows you all of the changes across the environment. Because when you have an incident, it's not about blaming blames or asking questions. It's about the technicalities, what really happened in our environment, as opposed to what we think happened or what should have happened in it. So Evolvent basically shows you a list of all of the configuration parameters that changed in your environment. And you can filter them, you can look at them through different filters, different views, put some analytics on it to help you solve the incident and figure out which of the parameters that have changed is actually causing the incident. We also help accelerating releases and upgrades. We talked a lot about automation these last few days. But even though we have automation in place, we still have incidents. And the fact of the matter is, is that no matter how many processes we put in, how many uh, effort we put into making sure that everybody's working with the process, there's always gonna be activity done outside of that process. And it's not malicious, it's not anything that is done intentionally, it's just the way people work. And these kinds of activities cause problems with our releases. So think, for example, if you have a new deployment and you put it in test, and it might have not worked at the beginning. Somebody uh, came in, made some sort of manual tweak to it, and now the test environment is running well. When you take it to production, you take the same set of parameters deployed to production. That set of parameters is not going to work unless somebody remembered to take that parameter that they tweaked manually and put that in their uh, production environment as well. So we need some sort of way to validate that our releases are constant and that what we tested is what we're actually seeing in production. Uh, Evolven helps you uh, avoid risk of change by showing you the full list of everything that had happened in your system and also can help you run um, automated consistency checks to make sure that you don't suffer from drift across the system. Uh, what we see with a lot of customers is that some parameters that they're mo not monitoring are sometimes being updated either automatically or manually, not in all systems, and what you end up with is different servers that should be identical. So Evolven runs these consistency checks automatically for you. And now, um, hopefully that's, that's clear, so now I'll, I will go into the demo. So the way the Evolving system works is with agents. We put our agents on the servers, and the agents automatically crawl over the environment and discover the different applications that are installed on each server. So if I'm looking at the agent that is installed on my desktop, for example, um, we can see the list of applications that were discovered. We have the IIS instance there, the operating system, the two uh, SQL databases that I have running, and the Tomcat app server that I have in there. 
And Evolve and discovers the uh, entire stack for each one of these applications. So if I'm talking about an app server, we'll discover the websites, the applications. And the key of the matter is, is that for each one of the components that we see here, Evolven is going to collect all of the configuration parameters that are associated with it. And it does that automatically. So you don't have to start defining what it is that you want to monitor. Evolven comes out of the box with all of that knowledge built in for you. So if I'm looking at the operating system and what we're collecting for the operating system, for example, we'll be able to see that we have uh, information starting at the hardware level. So things like disk info, memory, uh, network configuration, paging, processors, all that kind of stuff. And we go into the, the actual information from the operating system itself. So things like drivers and installed components, uh, printers, services, updates, whether or not the automatic update is turned on or off, all of that is collected automatically. And you as, as users simply need to put the agents there and they do all the collection for you. Now, another thing that we have and is a bit difficult to see in this resolution is a knowledge base that categorizes all the different parameters by their criticality and by their area of impact for us. So if I'm looking, for example, at security-related parameter, we can see that Evolven automatically marks those as critical and as affecting security. So if those parameters are going to change, you'll be very, uh, it will be very easy for you to filter out the specific changes that are interesting for you. So all of that information is collected automatically by the system. And then one, once we have that baseline, we can go and start uh, seeing the changes as they happen in the system. And again, big emphasis here, we install the agents, they automatically do the, the discovery of the different parameters, so within minutes we're already getting an image of what we have in our system. And now once we do the deployments, and in here I'm monitoring a specific server called demo S1 P1, we can see that for this specific server we had 12 changes. We have a time filter here since this is the demo data, um, I'm looking at all of the history, but in a real life system we'll be looking at changes from the last 24 hours or the last four hours to see what's happening. So if I'm talking about releases, for example, in here I'll be able to see the content of the release. I'll be able to see not what I planned to put in my environment, but what I really put in there. And we're talking about very granular information, so we can browse the list of parameters over here and see the actual values of each parameter. So in this example over here, I have something called execution timeout, and we can see that the old value was 7,200, the new uh, value is 8,000, so really granular information that we can later use in case we have a problem with this release. Now, this is the release as I did it to production, but if I really want to be consistent, I have to make sure that these parameters that I have in production are identical to what I have in my test environment. So we select what we call a consistency plan. And in this consistency plan, I'm going to compare my production server to my test one and test two, two servers. And let's see what we're getting in here. So, um, sorry, slow Wi-Fi connection. But basically what this is going to show me is all of the values of the parameters, not just with their historical value, but with their value in the different systems. So you can see that I have a breakdown of the changes by their consistency. And what I'm getting is that I have nine changes that are consistent, meaning they have the exact same value in all of the systems. These are parameters that were deployed successfully. I'm happy with these parameters. But I can also see that we had some problems with our deployment. For example, if I look at this server-specific parameter, we have in here a DLL that has a specific version in production a specific version in the second test environment, but still has an old version in one of my test servers. So obviously this is a deployment that did not go well. This kind of problems is very hard to detect, especially if we have multiple servers under one load balancer. Because when a user will be directed to the faulty server, they'll have a problem. When they'll log out and back in, they'll be directed to a different server, the problem will not recreate. So very difficult to trace this kind of problem, very uh, difficult to debug them. Uh, but with Evolve and we can validate the releases and see that this is the situation before we even uh, let customers use the new environment or the environment that was patched. 
So that's how we validate our releases. Um, and the second use case I would like to discuss is incident investigation. So what do we do when we have an incident? Basically, we ask a very simple question. What is different? Why is it that the environment uh, isn't working well now when it was working well yesterday? And if that's the case, we have two options with Evolvin. We either look at the changes that have happened in the last 24 hours, or we compare the environment that is not working well with an environment that is working well. And in this example, I'm again comparing my production server to my two test servers. And this gives me the full list of all of the differences that I have between the systems. Now, we're not just getting a flat list. We can use Evolvin's auto grouping to help us make sense of the differences within the environments. So we'll be able to see the differences that we have in services, in the files that are deployed, even in, uh, in, in the hardware level. And we can use the Evolvin knowledge base to help us zoom in on the exact parameters that uh, are impacting our environment. So if I'm having a performance issue, for example, I can very easily filter the differences by their impact to performance and see which parameters are left. And let's try to resize this a little bit to make this clearer. So what we see in here is that we actually have differences in the CPU of the system and in the size of the memory of the environments. But of course, this could include other parameters such as uh, connection timeout and sizes of pools and memory and all sorts of uh, information like that. So what we're getting is the real image of what happened in our environment as opposed to what we thought should have happened in our environment. Um, that was the very, very quick demo. Um, if you'd like to learn more, uh, you're more than welcome to come speak with us. We also have a 14 days free trial on our website. So you can log in to evolving.com, register for that free trial. Uh, you'll be able to download agents, install them on your system, see what Evolving detects automatically, try to um, work with the information, see what kind of changes are detected, run comparisons, uh, and of course, we'll be more than uh, happy to help you out with it and answer any questions that you might have. Thank you very much.